Good morning. Hello there. It's an early morning stream today, guys. This has been Dark Reality from Kingsfield. The extended version. Fantastic. Mood setting. Trend setting. It's all of it. And more. We're going to do some more Elden Ring today. As you may have noticed. Um, we're going to continue with that coil shield run we started. I'm really happy with how this build is going so far, and I'm impressed at how strong the shield is. So I have a little bit of uh, gathering to do. We've got some errands to run, and then I think we're going to go for the gargoyles. We're going to go for the gargoyles so that we can get to deep root depths, so that we can get to the Lake of Rot, where there's a good hat that will also help the build. But, uh, first things first, I gotta get the fucking device capture working, which it doesn't want to work sometimes. Here we go. It's coming. It's coming. And there it, there it is. There it is, and there I am. Here we are. Right where we left off, at the mountaintop of the giants. I can't believe we got here in just a few short hours last time. This stream will probably not be as long as the last one. Um, we're just kind of running some errands, but I also have some stuff I've got to do today, so I am maybe not going to have as much time as I did last time. Um, we want... Well, if we're gathering glo glove wart, I'll get the stuff that's above ground first, and then we're going to go to the underground zone for a little bit and gather, gather some things down there. Um, but there is a glove wart that should be in the Windham, Windham Catacombs. I think it's a plus six. We want to grab that. There's a five I can grab, and we can get the Mimic to plus six before we fight the Gargs, which is one of my most hated fights, honestly. I just, it's, it's, it usually goes so bad. I think we have one thing working in our favor with the Gargoyles this time, and that's that the bite on the shield, I'm almost positive, does strike damage, which they're weak to comparatively to their defenses against other things so we'll be doing like the optimal damage type at least i don't think we're going to get poison to go off during the fight and i also have this uh free talisman slot and i still haven't decided what i'm going to put there but we'll get something it'll happen uh we might also want to stop by seed water cave one more time because it would be nice to get the mushroom set for full, you know, poison look. But I kind of like this outfit. I, I might just wear the, I might just say fuck it and wear the crown from the Lake of Rot and nothing else. It would be a pretty thematically appropriate outfit to have, but we don't need the full thing. It's kind of gross to wear anyway. <laughs> it's pretty fucking nasty. Alright, one moment. Oh, that's so good. It's a, uh... You can just ban bots now with the click of a single button. That's, that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Alright. Here in, uh, Windham Catacombs. For that plus six. I'm pretty sure I know around where it is. I'll at least know the area when I see it. I forget about that every time. Damn it. I know that happens here, and I always forget until it's too late. Is there anything up here? Oh. Well, that's a grave, though. We need, um, we need ghost glove wart for the mimic, sadly. Okay, nothing down there. Right, this one is this one. You don't have to ride these. Okay, bye. I'm gonna be running past a lot of shit. No. Where is that ghost fi- Oh, there it is. Is this it, actually? Or is it in the cage off zone? Ooh, it's a ghost six. That's what I needed. Alright, well... I guess we'll just go. 
Now... Oh yeah, we still need the ghost five. I, gra I grabbed a grave five, but we need a ghost. So I need to go to the underground next. We'll go to the easy part first, and then we'll... There's, there's a ghost five we can get to from there. Uh, and then... Fuck it. I mean, we'll get we'll get the mimicked plus six at Roderica, and then I think we're going for the gargoyles after that. If that doesn't work, there is an alternate way to get to deeper depths, but it requires going through the Landell sewers, which is just a terrible area, full of horrible enemies, and it's awful, and it's a maze, and I hate going down there. So if we can avoid that, I would like to, but it's not necessary. We can also say fuck it and go through there to get where we need to be. If the gargoyles just proved to be too difficult for me, for my baby brain at, uh, at my current level and everything, I'm just going to say fuck it, and we'll go through that way. But we do have to fight Sewer Moog if we go through that way, so I don't really know what's better. I'm, I have an okay feeling about the gargoyles this time. We'll see. That strike damage is nothing to sneeze at. I also was looking at uh, stats for the shield and the viper bite on it. It, it has, like, so much, um, poise damage. It has the same amount of poise damage as a greatsword. Now, not a, not a colossal weapon, mind you. Those have the most, but a greatsword. Which is pretty rad. And that's why we get so many stance breaks when we're using it. But yeah, there's a plus five I need. And also, it'll be good to grab the map for the underground area before we really get going down there. And after those gargs, it's just smooth sailing, I think. For a little while, at least. We can get, uh, after the gargoyles, we can pretty easily get the mimic to plus ten. I already have the final glove ward I need. And, uh, the seven, eight, and nine that we need can all be found after the gargoyles, so. It'll be an easy plus 10 mimic, easy peasy, and I'll be able to get my mushroom crown after that too, because we'll be able to go to the lake of, lake of rot. Oh yeah, this is the long one. All right. The errands will take a few minutes, but it shouldn't be that long. It won't be like the setup was. Because the build is already here. It's already good. This is just making it the best it can be. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. A jumping attack sounds way more powerful than you would think coming from this thing. Good sound design, but man, it's chunky for this tiny shield. I'm just gonna sprint through all this, because it's bullshit, and I don't need to do it every time. We go through here every single time at some point, but right now I'm on a mission for one item, and I know exactly where it is, and then we can leave. I do like the clay men. I want to return to uh, the bubble build eventually, and maybe use the clay men summons for moral support in that run. Cause why not do a clay man build? Fuck it. Here we go. I'm gonna grab the map while we're here too because I don't want to uh, not be able to see where I'm going later. And if I need to like look on the wiki to find the map location of a fucking item, I don't wanna have to bumble around like a fool. I'm not going to fight this regal, this Ancestor Spirit, but we will fight the Regal Ancestor Spirit, eventually. Maybe even tonight, I don't know. I don't know how much time I got, exactly. 
I just know I want to do some stuff a little bit later. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now, where's the one that I need to climb? Ah, oh, there it is. There we go. Easy. Easy. Yeah, and then the glove wart's like basically right here. We gotta go around the corner and it'll be waiting for me. And then that's a plus six mimic tier. It's the best we can do before the gargoyles are killed, so. We'll see how it goes. Uh, maybe not the very best. I might be able to, like, if I do the Vare thing and do multiplayer to get into Mogwin Palace before the Consecrated Snowfield, uh, I suppose that I could, I could just go there and then there might be some stuff. There might be some upgrade materials. Wait a minute, wasn't it back here? Oh, it's, no, it's the one in the corner. It's past the Dragon King Solver. This away. Okay, so I knew approximately where it was, not exactly. But whatever, you know? Potato, potato. There's our five. Actually, why did I do that? I could just, uh... Oh, that's the only map we found? We didn't find... Oh, we haven't been underground at all, have we? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we, we've only been underground up here, though. Right. Right, 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 right. Okay. So now what I actually want to do is go to the round table for upgrades from Roderica. And then it's gargoyle time. I guess we can give the twinned armor to to D and have him help us in the fight. That'll be good. I think I'll do that. Um, Greetings. Oh wait, I don't have any fucking money. <laughs> Uh, Remembrance of the Omen. Yeah, how many runes is this? It's enough for my purpose. It's 30 grand. Okay, yeah, that's good. Greeting you, Hibs. That's plus six mimic. Okay, maybe I can get another uh, level or two of my strength just to up that strike damage as much as possible for the fight. Nah, no, not quite. Not quite. That's alright. It's not that big a waste anyway. So, um, I guess it's fucking gargoyle time. Well, we could we could piddle around a little more, but why why bother? I want to see where we're at with this. So I gotta go get that uh, armor set to that ghost, and then we'll uh, fight them. We will fight. And we will die, probably. I, it, it, really, I think the worst thing that they do is that breath attack with the poison. That also damages you. It's bullshit. It is, it is bullshit. And it's going to absolutely wreck the Mimic. I just know it. Whatever. Whatever. Move. You fool! You fool! Alright. No problem so far. It's over to your husk. Completely unnecessary. I love this area though. It's a really good one. 
for ditching Torrent because I can't ride him in here anyway. Good shit. Not gonna bother getting any of this stuff because I don't really need anything from here. We are just here to give this armor set to this damn fool. Uh. Okay, and then we gotta go back here to reload everything. But then we can summon him for the gargs, and I'm gonna try to uh, get these guys out of the way because after this is where all the real juicy items are, and my favorite boss fight, of course. I wonder, I wonder how Estelle is going to go with this. Like, I love fighting Estelle, but I, I don't think I've ever used this against him. This, I, uh, yeah, this is definitely the furthest I've ever gotten with just a shield build. Just uh, messing around, you know? Alright. I was thinking maybe the axe talisman would be good to get for that free talisman slot we've got, but it doesn't... This um, attack, this coil shield attack, doesn't really count as a charged attack like it should. The Ash of War, I mean. So that's fun. And you know what? I'll just get everyone here now. Take care of all of this nonsense. And here we go. Come on down. Look, I'm over here. So I don't wanna. I'm not. I'm not chasing you down. You chase me down. Yeah. Get him, D. Damage check. It's good. It's real good. Ooh. Pretty good tracking, at least, on this. Not amazing, but decent. Why? Why are you targeting me, you bastard? Fight my friends, don't fight me. Piece of shit. I don't need to dream. Fucking assholes. These fucking assholes. I swear to God. hit. Come on, man. What the fuck? Why'd you just turn around like that? I hate you. I hate you so much. And you're dead. You're dead. 2v1. Why?
Bye. Oh god. Okay, we're good. Right in the cross. I kind of like the twin blade moveset better for fighting him. Oof. I was hoping that would be trade damage, but I think it was just regular. Alright, come on, big boy. Fight. Not. Maybe I don't like Twin Blade better, actually. <laughs> Fight. Yes. One, two more, maybe. One more. Can't really tell. One more. Safety first. I cannot believe I missed that. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? I think we got him though. That's a good. That was that was a really good first try. What the fuck was that, though? Come on, man. He pulled out some shit he had never done. Right at the end. Right when he had zero HP. Oh my god. I love this fight. It's the greatest. <laughs> yeah, I think that the snake bite must be strike damage, though, because it's really fucking him up. It does, a, it does big damage when you hit him. Hopefully we can get some better RNG on our side this time. I don't think me and the Mimic can do it alone. Let's go. Shot if I would have got him. Punish. Nice. Shit. How did I fucking whip that dodge? Come on, man. I hate these guys. I really do. I can't believe I missed that. What the fuck? I can't even... Oh my god, fighting them at the same time. Fucking ass. It's ass. It's ass. I still get hit by that. I hate them. I hate them. I hate it. Fuck you. Ugh. 
Ugh. Fuck you, asshole. I'm gonna like reduce that. That's what got me last time. God, I did it. Holy fuck. With zero HP. And a dream. Alright. Well, that was a big stress point for me, normally, of the run. Out of the way. Oh, that feels good. This thing is great. It's honestly great. I'm surprised we didn't get a single stagger on either of the gargoyles the whole time. This thing does like pretty decent uh, poise damage, honestly. All right, what do we need most? We need more health. Yeah, 26 more HP is good. Okay. And now we can grab the upgrade materials we need to get a uh, plus 10 mimic, which is pretty awesome. I like that a lot. We beat the fucking gargoyles. Let's go. Only two tries, too. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this coil shield more than anything, because it's not my skills that got us through that. I was ready to go through the sewer and fight Moog instead to get through there, but... This is working out real nicely. Not very much stuff down here that I want to fight. Uh, we're pretty much just going to run through Deep Root for now until we get to uh, Noxtella. I 
Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fucking cutscene of me getting out of a coffin. Alright. Let's get this going. Let's get the show on the road. Again, I don't know how long I'm going to want to stream this morning. But I wanted to get one in just because I can. So even if this isn't the longest one, we've already made some good progress. Just with that one fight alone, I was a little worried about how that would go. And they did shred the Mimic tier, as I expected they would, because he's only plus six. But what can you do? You know? What can you fucking do? I know there's a bunch of ants with Newman's runes in them over here. I'm not going to even fuck with them at all. I'm just going right for the grace. It's over here. there. That's where we need to be. Alright. Good shit. Good shit. And now we can get the cool hat, too. Now we can get the cool hat, too. The mushroom hat. That's gonna improve the damage of this a lot. It has the same effect with the same intensity as the Kindred of Rot's talisman, so... We'll get a damage boost of 50% every time I trigger the poison on someone instead of just 25, which will make the bite be even bitier. We're going to be the bitiest boy they've ever seen, I tells ya. Alright. We're going to come back to this area and uh, get a bunch of stuff later. Grab a couple runes while I'm here, I think. I think there's some. Yeah, there's Golden Rune 9, Golden Rune 8. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. Good stuff here. Yeah, Smithing Stone 4. Golden Rune 8. Love War 5. Okay. Good stuff, but not... Oh, come on. Get... Just let me loot this from my horse, you bastards. I don't have to climb up the coffin to get it. Alright. Another coffin ride, this time down. And... Ainsel River, Maine is where we should end up after that. But it's taking a long time, because I'm on Xbox One and the load times are bad. Beautiful. Absolutely fucking beautiful to be here. Very happy with our progress tonight indeed okay there's a grace here and i'll grab the ronnie doll i guess we could try to take out the baleful shadow but i'm not too pressed about doing that well let's see no we really do we don't need to finish ronnie's quest line who cares who cares this isn't about that you can always come back and do it later anyway Now, there should be the next glove wart we need in here. So I'm just going to grab some things. I don't remember exactly where to look for this. Oh, there's some. Two sixes. doesn't help us too much, but I think there's another one like over here or something. Is it by the clay men? Are you, do you guys have it over here? Oh, is that it? No, it's another six? I don't know. Well, you know what? Maybe it's past the Falling Star Beast. Or the, the mini Estelle. Ow, uh, ow, 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 ow. 
Oh, there's a seven. Okay. Plenty of them in Noxtella proper. Oh, stop it, y'all. It's not there. That's not where I need to be. Well, we already can get to plus seven. Is this a plus eight right here? This might be an eight. That's a six? Hmm. Mimic tier is plus six. We can get it to plus seven. We just need an 8 and a 9 now, and there's definitely both of those in this area. I just love these areas. The Eternal Cities are definitely my favorite vibes in these games, or in this game. Because <laughs> they're in so many FromSoft games, I love them. Whenever they do an Eternal City, ooh, good stuff. I'll have to run around a little bit to find these. I think I know that there's some down in the river there. Nope. I think we'll want to go up a little bit further. Oh my god, 1400 damage in one strike just now. Well, no, actually, that was my total damage from all three. I just realized, because I, uh... My god. Calm down. Okay, hang on. Oh, that's the Picker's Bell bearing. Okay, whatever. Where's the damn glove wart? Where's the damn glove ward? Somber Seven. As if I need that. Can these guys be poisoned? Ooh. Bastards. You little fuckers. Give me this. Lots and lots of runes. I'm liking the loot, at least. But where, oh where, is my glove wart? I need to go down, too. And, uh, I know that there's at least one in the river. This is where you get the Night Maiden and Swordstress puppets. I don't think that's the room I want. That was fucking harrowing. Holy shit. Ugh, I think there's one in a chest, so now I have to, like, search every single fucking chest. Nope, that's another grate. It's another grate, which we don't need. here for that. Okay. Fine. Yeah, I think the ones I think all the glove wart we want is down. But hang on, I'd like to get to another grace before I leave the upper area here so I can just warp back up here. That would be noise. 
but I don't remember where anything is. Fuckers. situation. So many tears for one room. This is uh, a bit much. Number seven. Actually, I don't think I need to be up here at all. <laughs> I think all the glove wards down. That's fine. Uh, whatever. I was looking for another grace up here because I don't really remember the layout of this place too well. I never spend a lot of time in here, but what indeed is up here? Well, we gotta fight. Oh, that's where the Moon of Noxtella Talisman is. I don't need that shit. Okay. Guess we're warping back. We're warping back to the start. I should have gotten the map from the other underground part. Where Mr. Dragonkin Soldier lives. That would be making my life a little bit easier right now, but it's fine, because I'm just going to run through the river. We need to go this way anyway to get to the Lake of Rot for my hat, so whatever. It's fine. Now, here we go. That's another seven. That's another seven. I think there's an eight over here? Or something? There's an eight. Ugh, this is probably gonna be another eight, but... Wait, there was one on this side too, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, just another eight, who cares? I'm out. Serpentine, serpentine. there nine? Where's there a plus nine? Hang on. Noxtella. Obtained from a chest on the upper rampart area? Hmm. 
just east of the Noxtella Waterfall Basin race. Okay, I don't have that one. Well, anyway. We are basically to the Lake of Rot. Oh, this is it. Is this the one? Boom, baby. You know what? Let's just go get a plus 10 mimic now. Before we do anything else. That was a pretty big part of what I wanted to get done today. So we'll get the mimic to 10. And then we'll worry about fashion next. We gotta go to the Lake of Rot anyway to fight Estelle. Because of course we gotta fight Estelle. Are you here for Ooh, 11,000. Hang on, do I even have that on me? Probably, I got a bunch of these. 5,000. So what, like four? Greetings. Actually, that's probably not gonna be enough, but. And then 14,000. Ooh, so close. We got a plus 10 mimic. It's a thing of beauty. How wonderful is that? Well, the progress has been really, really something today. And it's, it hasn't even been an hour. Holy shit. Look at that. So now, uh, we just go to the lake. The Lake of Rot. Another one of my favorite areas of the game. For way different reasons than the... Other underground areas I love so much. And there's going to be even more poison swamps in the DLC, we've heard now, so that's going to be fun. The Lake of Rot 2. Alright, now I'm probably going to die in here. I don't remember where the uh, the thing is that we need. There we go. We got the slower version of Rot. I'll offset it with a, the flask that heals you over time, to some degree. That'll offset it. I think we need to go to this ruin over here to get the hat. Maybe it's that one in the distance, I don't know. This was where it was for sure. Guess I'm wrong. But there's like a ruin down here where there's some uh, worshippers worshipping, doing their thing. Rot worship, guys. Nope. Okay. It's gotta be over here, right? I don't want to wake up the Dragonkin soldier, that's just going to make this even more complicated than it needs to be. Complicated.
Oh, I think this is it, actually. Yeah, this is where we want to be. And we gotta go past these Basques, past these Basque Alasks. And then up there, and then across something, and we drop down, and that's where the crown is. Please. This is it right here, I think. I thought it was, um... The rock dudes that were here. That is fashion. That is high fucking fashion. And it'll help us tremendously in battle to have this sick hat. Whoa. Gotten a little close. I don't know if we're gonna make it to the grace over here, but I'm gonna try. our last heal. Oh. We made it. Holy shit. That is nice as hell. I don't know if Estelle can be poisoned. So this hat might not actually help us in this fight, but if we can poison him, that would be pretty sick. We do have to get pretty close to him, unfortunately. Estelle is easiest if you have like a ranged build or something that can be ranged, even if it's not inherently ranged. Like if you have a good uh, Ash of War or something that you can fling stuff into the distance with, it tends to be pretty good. Still would be a good way to get a couple of levels, and I want to level up my strength a little bit before too long. Things are already pretty hairy in this part of the game. So we may be pretty under leveled. I mean, 63 doesn't seem very high for this, but. I guess we'll see. At least we don't have to worry about the rot anymore in Estelle's arena. It's very clean and tidy in there. Alright. Let's get it going. Let's get it on. Nice try. Ah, shit. Well, you know what? That just broke my bubble, so that's actually okay. Damage is not great. Ooh. Poison. Fuck. Just ate that right to my stupid face. Okay.
and it's great with the with the damage boost we get from the poison plus a headshot. This is awesome damage, actually. Uh oh. Wow, I can't believe that launched me back. I got really lucky there. That would have flattened my health. I would have been dead on the spot. There it is. First try, Estelle. That's awesome. The progress has been unbelievable tonight, honestly. I expected to hit a wall with the gargoyles, and then be stuck there for like another stream. <laughs> I'm very pleasantly surprised. Let's uh, level up. Don't need his remembrance. So I'm just gonna do this. We have four. We'll do 43 and then 40 strength. Let's fucking go. Well, damn. Damn. Estelle is dead. That's kind of awesome. How easy that was. Next big boss is the fire giant, of course. Um, we could take a Rykard break. Like, go for Rykard. I kind of don't want to. I kind of just don't want to. I want to. I'll. We'll try him and see what the damage is like. But I'm not gonna impress myself about killing Rykard. Um, I'm just gonna say that, like, if we can beat Elven Beast with this thing, that's gonna be good enough for me. Cause that's that's gonna be a hell of a fight to get through. Let's see. What else could I do? I want to. I want to get another talisman, but I really haven't decided at all which one to do. Maybe the Ritual Sword Talisman would be good. Hmm. Isn't that at Lux Ruins? I think we just have to be a Demi-Human Queen for that. So, maybe? Maybe it's here? The Ritual Shield Talisman is in Leyendel. The Ritual Sword Talisman, I think, is here. I could also rock the blue dancer charm if I really want to fuck around and go like naked except for my mushroom hat I can. Okay. We'll give Lux Ruins a try if I can find the entrance. I don't remember where the entrance is. That way. Oh shit, we might just have to go back over here then. Fuck it. I feel like it's up near the top or something. It's probably like an illusory floor or something that I need to bust through. I bet that's what's going on here. <laughs> Looking around a little bit more carefully. I don't see a door. Oh, there. What the fuck am I talking about? Shit was right here all along. Oh my god. 
god. Oh my god. That was... That was ridiculous. Oh, that damage boost is massive with the crown and the talisman. Now... Now... We have that. And that's at least something, right? Like, it, it may not be the perfect talisman for the build or anything, but I can't think of a better one right now. So, that's what I'm gonna roll with. It would be the axe talisman I would pick, but the this doesn't count as a charged attack. You, you're not a, you can't actually charge it. It just has a long wind up. So, damn. Um. Wow. All right. Anything I left? Is there any big bosses that I've even left? We've just steamrolled through everything up to Fire Giant. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking what I want to do now. I actually don't have that much time, so I can't get into the fire giant right now. He's off the table. Um, God damn. We kind of just did everything that I wanted to do in like an hour. And I don't have any plans for what I wanted to do next. Um, since today was supposed to be about collecting stuff for the most part anyway, though, I'm gonna go grab Volcano Manor really quick, and, uh, the map for Mount Gelmir. Yeah, we'll do that. I could use some runes, actually. We might be able to, uh, take down Grail. Did we do that? I don't think we did. I feel like I've already been this way this playthrough, but maybe I haven't. I don't think we actually came all the way over here. I'm actually just amazed at the damage you can get from this shield. Um, especially with these buffs. It's absurd. Very silly amounts of damage happening. I'm just here for the grace for right now, but we will, I'll, I'll give a try at least to Rykart before I end the, the run, but not right now. I don't have time for that either. He has like 30 million HP. It's going to take a while and maybe a change of strategies in order to beat him, so... Real quick. My God. <laughs> I just wanted to see my damage. And it's massive damage. Holy fuck, look at that. It's still going. Jesus, what's this going to do against the endgame bosses, honestly? I think Fire Giant can be poisoned, so we we could poison him with this. 
and get that damage bonus going and then poison him again in phase two, potentially. I don't know if it resets poison or not. Could maybe be worth getting some uh, chonkier armor to wear on my body. Keeping the mushroom crown on, but like having a, you know, like a better chest piece at the very least, and leggings, so that I can just like trade a little bit better. I, I tend to get knocked out of the uh, coil shield attack, the viper bite attack, when uh, when an enemy is attacking me back, and I don't like that. I'd rather not get po out poised. Especially though with how well this thing breaks stances, I kind of would not hate getting some more poise myself. So I can withstand a little bit better. There's also the Cerulean hidden tier down there. Which, um... I don't think we really need, I mean... Oh, you know what? I... I have runes. Let's buy the Carrion Filigree Crest. That's probably a better talisman, actually, to have for this build. And now that we've done some stuff for Ronnie, EG should sell it, I think. Just why not? I mean, the, the cost of using the Viper Bite is already very low, but... This will allow us to just sustain and keep biting and biting without having to invest any more levels in mind, which I really don't want to do anyway. So, duh. Carrying filigree crest. Let's go. You're selling it, right? I didn't. I, I didn't like miss a part of the quest. Have you heard along that it would not as lady of you? Yes. Yes. The Ritual Sword Talisman's good, but imagine how many more bites we could get from this thing if... That's... okay. That's with the crest. And then... It's noticeable, but barely. And then this would make me do how much more damage, though? Is it like 25% or something crazy? I guess I don't really need that though, because let's just let's just rock this. Then again, the FP cost is already so low. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. I don't know what I was thinking there. Because I could potentially stay at full health, get the if I can stay at full health and proc the poison, then I'll have a massive fucking amount of damage per strike. Massive. Yeah, I think that I think that that's good for the build, and we could swap it out. If I feel like I'm using too much FP, we could swap it out for the Carry and Fill Greed Crest later. But I really don't want to invest any more levels into my mind because I already feel like I wasted some levels doing that earlier. All right, well, I think that's going to be it for me for right now, gang. Um. I know it was at a weird time and everything, but it's the morning, and I, uh, I have a day ahead of me now, so I might try to get another stream in later tonight, um, but we'll see about that. We'll see how it goes. Either way, excellent progress. This coil shield fucks. Um, next time, we're going to go for the fire giant, and then we do Farah Missoula. I just hope that we get good enough before Farah Missoula that I don't have to keep like leaving and getting more powerful and then coming back. So uh, what I might do is uh, kill a few optional bosses next time. Like Grail is just sitting out there with a bunch of runes. Um, we've got, uh, there's other bosses. There's other bosses. We didn't do like the, 
the catacombs very much. There's probably some good runes to be had here and there. So we'll check it out the next time. Um, I'm happy with the build, though. I'm excited to see where it goes. But thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys real soon.